What's going on everybody? In our last video, we pledged to donate $3,500 between two charities that are helping aid in the COVID-19 crisis right now. One was a million masks. The other is No Kid Hungry. We did it. We donated the money and thank you so much to everybody who purchased something off our Hype to Help store. This video was filmed before a lot of the restaurants shut down, but please practice proper social distancing and enjoy this video. We are, That's like, we are, we are ready. The piña y naranja is making us inamaristo. <laughs> oh my god! I give up, I give up! <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fun Bros Food. Today we are in East LA. And we are going to be trying the trendiest style of taco in America right now. We're here with Spanish speaker Ryan. What are we eating? All right, we're out here in East LA. About to hit this food truck to hit some birria tacos. Now these tacos are like nothing you've ever seen before. About to dip them like... Oh man. Dip tacos. Dude, it's so well, good Ryan can't even say it. We'll explain it once we get in line because the line just keeps getting longer. Don't even longer. worry about it. You're, you're going to see with you'll your see, eyes. Let's see. go. East LA is one of the most famous ethnic enclaves in the entire county. It's over 96% Latino and home to some of the best food trucks in the entire region of Southern California. First, we're going on a search for the best birria style dip tacos and whatever other delicious Mexican treats we can find along the way. We have right here the traditional birria de chivo. Right off the bat, you can tell the quality of this place by the tortillas. Handmade. Handmade. Tacos Dorado. That tortilla is unlike any other tortilla I've ever had. It's normally a very stringy, kind of like tough piece of meat. Mm -hmm. And the way that they cook this down, it's become so soft in your mouth. Yeah. All right, guys. So, you guys, we have tried the base level tortilla taco, but we have not dipped it yet. Let's dip it. Wow. Yo, that was really good. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling left out. So, I'm gonna exit frame for a second and dress up my consomme. I had to put some extra onions in my consomme. Is that how you do it? I'm gonna go put some hot sauce in my consomme too. Queso taco asada. I think right off the bat, it does not have as much flavor coming through as the goat. As the goat. You guys, that was so good. Right now, I'm going to go with the goat. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> guys, I didn't think I was gonna like the goat more than the asada. Okay, so this is really the new style. Goat go, go queso, queso taco. taco. Going for the dip. Well, I'm gonna try, but. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I think this was the best. Bite. This was it. This, this was it. All right, guys. So last but not least, we got the vampiros right here. Vampiros are crunchy tostadas. Um, so we, it's like a flour tortilla that's been fried up and then kind of done like a Mexican pizza. We have three different sauces on this. On the right side, we have the salsa verde. Uh, right here, we have the toma tomatilla roja. And then we have uh, a salsa that's made from a mole. Goat vampiros. Vampiros de chivo. There's cheese at the bottom. I would say that that version has the most meat. Has the most meat. The tortilla is a little bit different, a little bit like crispier. I'm gonna actually have to go the plain goat taco dipped in the consomme. Dip, dipped in the consomme is my favorite. I'm gonna come a little bit from left field here. I'm gonna say the consomme is actually my favorite. I'd rather just eat that straight up from Whoa. the cup with the meat. My would be the birria chivos queso taco. All right, guys, we are finishing up here at Tacos de Birria Unica um, on Olympic Boulevard. You guys gotta check out this truck. It closes at 3 p.m. every day. So probably by 2 p.m. they're already sold out of the shredded beef, but we got one more taco truck to check out on Whittier Boulevard. Let's go. Tacos de Unica was amazing. I know that the cheese version is more modern and IG worthy, but my personal favorite was the traditional plain goat taco with the consomme dip. It definitely made me want to check out Mexico. We had to get some esquites and then we have uh, jugo de piña y naranja. Does it taste like your your normal like Mexican street corn? It's lighter. One thing you guys that I'm learning on this Mexican food crawl through East LA is that less is more. Yeah. Simple, got a little sourness to it, I like it. A little spiciness from the peppers on top. I Overall think, pretty good. I actually also prefer the tradi uh, this traditional version over the, the hipster version though. Yo, this juice is hella good. And hella good. Next up, we had to hit Whittier Boulevard, which has a bunch of different food trucks selling everything from corn to churros, and of course, more birria style tacos. This next truck only serves the beef version, but I'm kind of skeptical if it'll be better than the goat. We are at our birria spot number two. 
we are going to be getting the shredded beef tacos that the first truck ran out of, but here they got them. Can I get four vampiros, four queso tacos, four consomme, small, four tacos dorados, por favor. Guys, we are going to be getting some authentic agua frescas yeah. while we are waiting. Which one is your favorite? Berries. Berries? Okay, I'm going to try this one. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. Where's the tequila? Where's the tequila? You have some in the back. In the back. Ooh, that strawberry one's super good. I'll have one of those. This is the best agua fresca I've ever had. All right, so we're at Pierreria number two. This is Pierreria Gonzalez. Yo, immediately, guys, what are the visual cues that let you know that they cook their tacos here differently? Okay, so they are, one, neatly wrapped. Two, on the queso tacos, the cheese is grilled. So they put the cheese on top of the tortilla that was already dipped in the consomme, and then they grilled it on the flat pan. Dude, look at that. It's dripping in consomme right, right now. Just... This is the uh, taco dorado, so the crunchy tacos. Yo, oh. immediately, guys, listen, two shells. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two shells, that's different. I know, I know the difference between uno and dos. Shredded beef birria taco. Birria de res. The tortilla is a little bit more chewy. It's not as crispy as the other one. Because you know what's funny is that he already sauced these up with consomme after he arranged the taco. But more consomme. More consomme, more problems. All right, the cheese taco shredded beef. Need Spanish <laughs> translation. Queso taco de birria de res. This consomme is a little bit saltier than the other one, but I can see some people liking that. Oh my goodness, this one was good. This one with the queso was this, this crazy. Was a, this was like a five out of five. Yo. We got cameraman John over here. Let's go! Look at, the drip. Look at the drip. This is the most drip John has ever had. Last but not least, we've got the vampiros. We have right? the vampiros. The beef vampiros. They look significantly different. Beef, beef vampiro. vampiro. Tostada de birria de res. The tortillas on this, there might be more meat on this, but the tortilla is a lot smaller than the other fish. Kobe? Toby. I gotta say, like, I've just been overall just impressed, man. You kind of have to respect the hustle of the people that come here. The food was just so much better than I expected. For sure. You know I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I think it's great that the food is really good off of a truck because not all cuisines can do that. Kelly on, on top. A condensed milk, a strawberry jam, a Mexican caramelo. All right, Benson, we have got fresh churros. Like we said, it's not Disneyland, but in a good way. Right, so on top of these churros, we have fresa. Strawberry syrup, caramelo, it's like caramel, and then uh, cajeta. So we have like some more uh, condensed milk on top. Churros. Jalisco style. This is the best churro I've ever had in my life. Not even joking, best churro I've ever had. The caramel flavor wasn't that strong. Yeah. That's more like a dulce, right. de leche type flavor, right? Dulce de leche. The street food quality in East LA in general, incredible. Yo, right. we got one other spot to check out. Let's go. You guys, we were so full, we've eaten so much. We have to try everything. Wow. Whoa, what a bite. Let's see if it's considerably better than uh, the one off the street in LA, so. The flavor definitely is. It looks like a custard with fruit in a salad. It's kind of, this sauce is kind of like a condensed milk custard, yogurt. yogurt. Custard milk yogurt. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to explain. It's not really yogurt, but it's not fully condensed milk and cream. We weren't gonna film anymore. But this is just for the outro. We had to show you guys Mexican Chinese food in its senor walk. This is a, not a traditional Chinese dish, by the way. Chinese, Chinese Mexican, Mexican food. Got a little burst of lime in there. I didn't say it was fire, though. It was fried. I was not expecting that flavor. Definitely not your typical Chinese dude. Have the pepper, man. No, man. Or I don't do it for the gag. Oh, my God. That is not cooked enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting up East LA was such a dope experience and one that I can recommend to anyone. It really helped that Ryan spoke Spanish, but overall people were just excited that some outsiders were coming to showcase their food and craft. The Mexican Chinese food at Senor Walks was fascinating too. This is what's so special about LA. It's a patchwork quilt of different communities just a few miles apart. So you can see the world if you're willing to step outside of your familiar zone. And those other worlds, they're delicious. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. You guys, what is your major takeaway from this East LA Tacos Birria food crawl? For me, it kind of reminded me of the beauty of LA where it's very spread out. There's different neighborhoods. Not all the neighborhoods really blend together and mix, but guess what? If you're adventurous, you can go to each neighborhood and get a true taste of the culture, and that's beautiful. I think it's great to like come out here and really try uh, food that comes from the community. Go out there, go try everything. 
I think it goes to show you in LA, just five miles in a direction that you don't normally go, it can take you to a whole new world. Everybody was so welcoming, there were so many smiles. I love the spirit of everybody. And from the culinary perspective, one thing I learned is out here, less is more. Yeah. I think we're so used to fusion foods. You guys, in the comment section below, please, number one, let us know any other ethnic neighborhoods and any other city that we need to try out. And number two, in the comments down below, let us know what's like another undiscovered dish that should get more popular. Maybe it's a traditional thing that just hasn't gotten shine yet because Berea, the stew has been around for hundreds of years, but only in the past year in LA has the tacos gotten really popular. So let us know in the comments below what's another food that needs more shine. You, All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Ryan Benson. Thank you for doing this food crawl with us. All right, everybody, until next time, we out. Pass. <laughs> Do you think that in TJ, they often make food to cater to all types of people because it's like a lot of tourists there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we going? 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 Yo, Raul, I'm going to change the destination to a Tijuana. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Do it, yeah. <laughs> How much is that Uber? <laughs> Here to San Diego, like around... Um, 200, 300? No, just 120, 120. Oh, wow.